Pressure. Yeah, it will be years old. Can you see there? It's just letting little tiny bits out. Just treated the uh, the old barley crusher to a new PTO. There's Snazzy. Just uh, in celebration of National Safety Week, we thought it might be a very good idea since the old one was slightly slightly dodge. Um, just the cover on it was broken, so we got a brand new one. Oh, brand new shaft. <gasps> Morning. Uh, back from the game fair. Thank <laughs> God that was a long drive. Um, I stopped off and I had a KFC. <laughs> um, we don't get those around here. They closed ours down because the population's not dense enough. <laughs> no, it's not even a joke. So yeah, today we are dipping sheep. Very exciting. Win, yeah. Yeah, go away. Uh, Roy's just filling two big IBCs full of water. So Pete Horn's coming. My quad bike's got mine of its own. Not going that fast. I'm just gonna shut all the yard off because I'm hoping to bring them in over there so we don't really have to go around any escapable buildings. So I'll bring them in that gate there and then once they're in here, it doesn't necessarily matter what they do. I ideally want them in the handling system. Um, and then our neighbor Malcolm, who lives just over there, he's gonna bring his as well, just to stop any kind of fly strike and stuff. Sheep are absolutely fine, they're sorted, and these are just lambs of ours, just the baby lambs. Totally safe. So the majority of them are in the right field. Uh, there is a few that are not, and they've gone right over there to where the chups are, so I'll go and get them. This isn't even funny. I'm wrangling tops and they're just so naughty. Right, go on, boys. Boys are not playing ball. Just... I've had to leave the quad bike up there. There's just no point. Right, you, come on. Don't you look at me like that. Get moving. Let's go back and get my quad bike now. Oh, remember baby, baby husband that's not a baby anymore <laughs> just look at the size of it now <laughs> this is baby husband hey go our neighbor malcolm um is just gonna bring his sheep down the lane and stick him in our handling system and we're just gonna share the dipping and um, we're doing this I'm trying to find my coat we're doing this because Ah. 
So there's been an accident on the A66, which is like over there. And all the traffic's coming the back way. And we want to be crossing the road with sheep. So me and Roe have just come down to stand in the middle of the road. In fact, I'm not going to stand here. I'm going to stand on this hill here, um, which is a bit safer. And then we're just going to run the sheep uh, from that side across down our lane. Have I got an aviation update for you? Look at this coming. <sighs> Oh, Peter's here. So the sheep run in here, there'll be a sheep there on that, that side. And when they run in, they'll just fall in, go for a swim, get dipped, climb out of them steps there, up here. They'll shake off in here and run down that ramp at the other side. Linda, look, here's Vlodwin. She's going in. She's going for a swim. <laughs> go, Vlodwin, go. Vlodwin's heavy. This is our neighbour Linda's sheep. Just a little bit. Are you okay? Are you going for a little swim? Because I've I've been swimming too. Can you tell? Yes. Wee, 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 wee. I'm going to do this for our Nigel because he'll like it. I have just been dipping sheep in the rain for two and a half hours. Right, let's see how it fared up. I'm not even going to put the phone down. Um, so, you know what? This is what it looks like. Right. Let's have a look. I'm dry. I'm dry. I'm dry. I can't believe it. Oh my god, look how soaking wet my hood is. I'm not even joking. Seriously, look, it's it's wet wet. Like I'm dry. That's it. Look at that's it, that's the wet bit. I think this was probably me pulling my sleeves up to be fair and dragging lambs about. And she's not even waterproof.
that's a fleece that is that's a fleece would recommend would recommend proofs in the pudding man the proofs in the pudding so the sheep have been in overnight it's probably a good job really because it's tipping it down come on sheep So I'm just watching this road and stopping any traffic very nicely. He was a nice man. A couple of hours have escaped, so we're just putting him back in. Um, we're going to keep ours in a little bit longer. We suspect um, that ours definitely had a touch of scab. So heaven only knows where it came from, but never mind. Uh, Possibly going upstairs more. It's a big open expanse, lots of different people mingle together. It's just one of them things. Um, and Peter said you could definitely tell when they were going in the water that it was stinging them more um, because they actually had something. Instead of like Malcolm's that had nothing wrong with them, he was just doing it as a precautionary thing. So yeah, I think we'll probably keep them in today as well because it is still raining. And a couple of bales of hay and they'll be fine in here. They've got water, they'll be happy. So we cannot sell anything within 49 days now. I think it's 49 days, I'll check. Um, it has a withdrawal on does dip, and that means that we've dipped them and we can't sell any, regardless of whether they're ready, whether they're fat, it doesn't matter, we cannot sell them. So that's how it works with medication wise, and dip is no different. Tiny little lamb there, and then there, the one with the orange tag in. One of them did amazingly well, and one of them did really badly. Um, she didn't do it very well at all. I actually thought that that one there was going to die at one point. I brought it inside a few times just to pep it up and gave it some extra. It's never really done. Probably isn't meant to be here. So we're having the conversations, as you always do when you end up um, dipping sheep. About years ago, it was compulsory to dip your sheep. Um, when sheep scab was a major problem, it was compulsory to do it. You had to do it. And a local policeman or a local bobby as they call it, would come and sit and make sure you were dunking your sheep for long enough uh, to kill the scab. And that's how it worked. Um, and then it kind of, it disappeared and it got, you know, dipping was out of favour with people. A lot of people still do it, but not everyone. And last year, apparently scab was absolutely rife um, all over the place and dipping's had a major resurgence so much that Peter can't actually keep up with uh, the people that want him to come and dip sheep. So yeah, we're going to do ours every year. We've also looked at getting um, our own. It's not worth it. It is a thousand pounds for the license to be able to dispose of the dip. Then you've got your, obviously your infrastructure, your dipping tub, etc. And I think then the original setup fee for the license is probably about three grand, which is crazy, crazy. It used to be 300 quid um, for your year for the license. That's not the case anymore. Um, I believe that to be right. I could be totally wrong. You can correct me if you like. But yeah, it just seems like it's um, a massively expensive thing to do on your own when you could just get Peter in for a quarter of the price and he comes, he has a setup fee and he dips a sheep per sheep, like per head of the sheep. Um, and you don't need to dispose of the stuff. And once it's done, he rolls on out the yard and that's it. This thing today is going to get trained. He is off to none other than Hannah Jackson to go and have um, a little bit of a breaking in session just because I don't want to mess it up. That's the only reason that I'm doing that. So yeah, more on that later. I've just had aye, man. Aye, aye. <laughs> oh my God, that sounded so bad. We have just had, I have just had the man from IAE. Right down here. Roy had had him around uh, a while back. We'd asked them to come and talk about how we could block the man gaps up safely because we, um, obviously our handling system isn't used for one size of cow. It's used for calves up to bulls. Like it, there's a huge range of sizes and I suppose you can't really cater for everything, but you need it to still be safe. And what was happening were things were going like just calves wandering through the man gaps. We've had a couple of heifers that are slightly skinnier on the front end going through the man gaps and then getting wedged, things like that. But it's a safety, it's a safety feature of a handling system and they need to be there. And so what they've come back with is these rubber strips here, which are actually really interesting. And they just fit one down one post and one down the other and they cross over in the middle and it means you can still walk through them. They're not that high, they're only, you know, yay high. 
you can still walk through them but the um animals will see them will see them as something solid and they will go around them so i will show you all about it when we've got them in and then they've come with like these things to put them on that is grand it will make a real difference to us when we're just sorting animals and stuff because at the minute we're just finding it a pain when thing you know we'll put a load of lambs in one pen and then we'll turn around and before we know it they're all out and they're all running around everywhere so yeah more on that later there's more on everything later isn't there more on that later more on that later thank you for watching uh i'll end this video here because it's getting a little bit long more on ie man go cover man cover go cap man cover gap covery cover rubber things and the dog going to get trained not tomorrow the day after so i will see you then don't forget to like share subscribe and as always i do appreciate you thank you